One CNC XR7 uses the One CNC Active Cut technology. This is a proprietary technology developed to help concentrate on toolpath efficiency. Let me give you some examples. Let's say you're profiling or pocketing or facing and the tool has to machine a sharp corner or has to machine a small fillet. Well, with XR7, you can now tell the toolpath to slow down machining sharp corners or very small fillets. How can that reduce cycle time? Well, what you can do now is you can increase your feed rate for those longer linear cuts, for those bigger arc cuts, and now the tool is only going to slow down to that slower feed rate when cutting the sharp corners or the small fillets. That's going to reduce your cycle time, and it's available in all of the one CNC mill tool paths, except of course hole operations, but you're going to find that available in all the two and a half axis and three axis tool paths. Very, very nice, efficient feature of XR7. Now with the release of XR7, one CNC has officially branded Active Cut Technology, and they've used that to further enhance toolpath. In fact, with Active Cut Technology, you're going to notice that the toolpath is even more efficient than before and also prolongs the life of the tool even longer. Let me demonstrate. Now, in this example, you can see we have a pocket operation. I'm going to quickly edit this. Let's go to Edit Operation. And what we're going to do is take a look at this dialog box. And the first thing you'll note is there's a new option here called Feed Control. This is very powerful and a brand new addition to 1CNC. Now what this does is this is going to take the tool and it's going to slow the feed rate down when the tool approaches a sharp corner or when the tool has to cut an arc of a certain radius size. Let's take a look at the details here. Let's open up this dialog box and let's activate this. First thing I want to talk about is the feed rate control. By default, it's going to slow the feed rate down by 50%, but of course you can type in whatever you'd like there. I'll type in 40%, for example. Up here, these are the conditions in which the tool feed rate is going to slow down. The first condition is when the tool approaches a corner. Now, right now, this is set so that the feed rate is going to slow down when the tool approaches 25% of its diameter close to the corner. You can put in whatever percentage of diameter you want, or if you want to, you could click manual and you can type in a value. So if I type in 250 thousandths, that simply means that the feed rate is going to slow down when that tool approaches all sharp corners and is away by 250 thousandths. Now the next condition is when the tool has to cut arcs of a certain radius size. So here the default is percentage of tool and right now it's 25%. If you want to, you could click manual and you can type in a value if you want. So if I type in 375 thousandths, that means anytime that tool cuts an arc that has a radius of 375 thousandths or less, it's going to slow the feed rate down by 40%. Now the idea here is even though we're slowing the feed rates down, that gives us the opportunity to increase the feed rates here. This means that for all linear cuts or when cutting arcs that are large, we can cut using this higher feed rate and then when it comes to cutting corners or small arcs, we're going to slow that feed rate down. Now in real world example testing, this type of feed control has actually reduced cycle time up to 30% and more. Very, very powerful new feature in regards to 1CNC XR7.